Good morning, YouTube land. It's really early here, um, but I'm really bored because Bowie, I just got back from dropping him off to get his, his chops cleaned and I just don't know what to do when I don't have that little guy. So I thought I'd distract myself since I can't pick him up for like six hours um, by making a video. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do jacket potatoes three ways. Well, this is a lot of potatoes. Before we start making all our amazing toppings, I'm just gonna get all these guys washed and into the oven. Um, hey Alexa, what temperature do you bake baked potatoes at? Recommended to bake baked potato in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. Perfect. I'm doing regular potatoes and sweet potatoes. Right now I'm just peeling some garlic, cause garlic's gonna go in all three of the toppings. Oops. The first topping we're gonna make, and don't be scared, <laughs> is a vegan cottage cheese. And we're gonna make it with uh, using silken tofu in the food processor. We're gonna process this till it's basically pretty watery. And then we're gonna crumble in extra firm tofu. It's gonna give you basically the exact same texture as cottage cheese. And cottage cheese doesn't really have much of a flavor except it's a little bit sour. So I'm also gonna go ahead and put in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Love this stuff, so good. Do your vinegar shots every day, guys. I hope you are. And then I'm also gonna put in a tiny bit of garlic and a little bit of lemon juice, salt, and pepper. This is gonna look a little sloppy. Oh my gosh. We might actually be able to do this in one one swoop. So here's our silken tofu. I'm gonna put in just, you know, a little bit of Bragg's uh, apple cider vinegar. Literally like a tiny bit. And we're gonna juice in a little bit of limon. bit of salt. Oh my god, I almost just dropped this. So this is basically the this is basically the base. Um Okay. Now you got extra firm. So you go ahead and you crumble this up like whatever little texture you like and we're just going to drop it on in there. Exciting. This is riveting content right here, guys. Okay, I think you get the idea there. Just gonna finish crumbling this guy. Now this is gonna have a bit of a tofu taste, so don't be shocked by that. Um, you can always add a little bit more lemon juice or apple cider vinegar, um, whatever. And once we put this on the potato, we're also gonna top it with, you're supposed to top it with chives, but I couldn't find chives, so we're doing green onion. Chives are just like baby green onions though, right? I mean, not baby, but they're like miniature. I don't know. Similar taste, so we're not gonna worry about that too much. And that gives it a really good taste too. So I put, like I load mine up with chives or green onion, whatever. Oh my gosh, see, it looks just like cottage cheese. That's nuts. Here we go. Okay, topping one is basically done. We just need to chop the onions, but we're, you know, I'm aiming to have all three of these done within an hour because that's when the potatoes will be done and I'm super hungry. All right, we're gonna move on to the next topping and I'm really excited for this one. Number two is going to be a sort of like a pulled pork, I guess, like chili verde. Is that, is that what they call it? I don't know. Um, I don't know my meat terminology, guys, but we're going to use tempeh, um, which I really like. Some people don't like it, so you could use a seitan or jackfruit. I kind of was going to do jackfruit, but then I'm going to do a jackfruit um video like next week so i don't want to like overload on the jackfruit i'm just gonna go ahead and 
cut this up into little teeny pieces, um, fry it up in, not in any oil, I'm just gonna like heat it in a pan here. And then we're gonna add in barbecue sauce. You can use whatever you want. I got this one, it um, doesn't have any added sugar in it. And it's called Sweet and Spicy. It was award winning pit master. I don't know. Um, but I'm also gonna go ahead and add a habanero into mine and a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic. And then we're gonna top this whole thing when we're done with some avocado. While that's going, I'll give you guys a little bit of uh, nutrition info on seitan. I'm sorry, tempeh. <laughs> Let's get the right product. A serving, we've got 4.5 grams of fat, um, 10, grams of 10 grams of carbs, 16 grams of protein. So this is gonna, you know, fill you up. Oh my gosh, and there's seven grams of fiber in this. So yeah, all these um, except for the tofu cottage cheese are gonna have a pretty fair amount of fiber in them as well, which is super important to, you know, pay attention to that. Okay guys, um, this has been cooking for a little bit now, not too long, I don't want it to get like crispy. Um, still want it to be like kind of soft, but um, this is another thing, it doesn't really have much flavor. It's gonna taste like what you add to it. So I cooked it with some, sorry, <laughs> my tripod, some onion and garlic, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the barbecue sauce now. That was not a question, I am going to add in the barbecue sauce now. There is a uh, jacket potato topping number two. Look at that. We've got some sliced avocado that's gonna go on top of that. I mean, come on now. We're on to the final topping now, and this is going to be a quick and easy spicy vegan chili. Um, you just need beans. I just got this tri bean blend. So, you know, you're gonna get a little mix of beans, mix it up for more nutrition, you know. Um, diced tomatoes, what is this? Oh, and tomato juice. Um, I'm also gonna throw some Boca crumbles in mine. It's just gonna add a little more protein and a little more fiber. Um, and I also just like the taste of them. We're gonna do onion, garlic, and probably, hmm, a whole jalapeno chopped up in there. I think I like that. And I think that's all that's gonna go in. Oh, and some chopped bell pepper. Oh yeah, and since it is chili, you might wanna like throw in some cumin or chili powder, you know, spice it up. let that cook though while waiting for the potatoes. They still have 30 minutes. Potatoes are done and ready to get topped. I've got a regular one here and a sweet potato one. Um, I want to try all three toppings. I sort of meant for the chili and the pulled pork or whatever, um, the barbecue one to be on a sweet potato and then the cottage cheese one to be on a regular. So I think I'm just gonna cut this guy in half. Um, I'll just get them, get them all ready and show you guys. Look at our little bar we have here for toppings. I think the avocado would be good on either one of these guys.
There you have it, jacket potatoes, three ways. If you're watching your macros and your, uh, you know, ratios of your carbs and um, proteins and fats and are trying to keep lower on the fats, um, th these are all super good options. <laughs> Um, I'm so hungry, I'm stuttering. I'm gonna start eating this stuff now, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me like one of these. It'd be so nice. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'm so excited to go pick Bowie up. Bo cameo? Yeah? We just got back from the vet. He had to have a couple teeth pulled and he's not feeling it. Can you hear him? Buddy. All right, guys, we're gonna just snug and watch some Romanovs and just just snuggle all night. And I'm gonna see if I can order you some overnight doggy ice cream. Yeah. All right, ice cream for dogs. Let's see, Bobo. Oh, look, we got maple bacon, peanut puppy scoops. Free one day. What do you want, maple bacon or peanut butter? Bobo? He does not give up. Beep. All right, mom's gonna hook you up, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs>